Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com, is brought to you by brotherstrucks.com, your number one source for 1947 to 87 Chevy and GMC truck restoration. NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. And by rockauto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. We are rocking and rolling here at Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. While John's cleaning up transmission fluid over there, uh, we've got an automatic transmission splayed out here on the table. Tell me what I'm looking at here, Josh. Yeah, the transmission can be pretty complicated, but I want to try to simplify it for you. What we do is we start off with a torque converter, and this purpose is to multiply torque, but also to drive the oil pump on the transmission. All right, well, show me how that multiplies torque. Well, right inside here, we have a stator. What the stator does, it just redirects fluid to make it easier for the torque converter to spin and just multiplies torque. And this is the stator right there? Right, this is the stator. Okay, very cool. And then onto this pump, which looks pretty complicated. Right, so the torque converter actually drives the pump. If you look inside here, there's a couple of tangs. And the, when the torque converter spins, the tangs on the torque converter actually spin the, the pump. And it makes these veins move, and it pulls in from one side, and it compresses it, and builds pressure, and pushes it out the other side. All right, and this is, these are the tangs here. They mate with that. And these veins, as they, this centrifugal force pulls them out, it moves the fluid exactly. more and more as it goes back. Got, got it. it. Got now, it. I see you brought your ant farm with you here. <laughs> yeah, you, I, don't even, I can't even make sense of this. Tell me what it looks like. It. Well, you say ant farm, I say valve body. Okay. The pump then pumps the fluid to the valve body. And on the other side, you look, these are actually valve runs. Inside here are spool valves. And all they do is they just direct fluid to the clutches. All right, I understand this part a little bit more. This is the planetary gear set. Uh, this really drives the whole thing, so to speak. There are a couple of these usually in an automatic transmission, and why is it called a planetary gear set? Let me show you here. This is the ring gear, and, but inside that, these are the, the planetary gears. So you see them, and they orbit or rotate around the sun gear right there. So as that turns, these turn in the opposite direction as the sun gear. And then we move on to the clutches, which are around the outside of the planetary gear set. And these clutches either hold or drive one of the planetary gear sets and there are also bands around the outside and they hold the planetary gear set depending on which gear you're going to go to and that's all stacked all of those elements are stacked right here so you have a clutch pack here and a clutch pack here both on top of planetary gear sets there are several bands throughout the automatic transmission and between the gear set and the bands they either hold or drive different elements that gives you the gear you're looking for whether it's a forward gear reverse or neutral it well, looks like John and Justin are in overdrive over there, getting things put together underneath the Yukon. Oh, wow, that's a good look at the inside of the transmission. Justin, I think I'm more confused or intimidated than I was before. I'll tell you what, that's a lot of gears and moving parts, and I'm glad there's professionals like y'all that understand that, because that's a little over my head. Yeah, well, let me tell you, bring up to speed. We actually dropped the pan down, and when we dropped the pan down, man, you can see all the goop inside of it. We kind of had some of the clutch material. Totally normal, don't get upset. Your clutches are gonna wear after time, you're gonna get that in there. Justin, I watch you fish, I watch you fly fish. I know you got some touch with that rod, man. <laughs> How are you with a gun? Ah, uh, I've got a few hours on them. There you go, you yeah. think you can run it up, but not over torque it now. It's okay. only 80 inch pounds. That's about okay. six foot pounds, a little bit over. Okay. That's not a lot. So let's just kind of bump it up and then we'll go back and retorque it. All right, so any particular order? Start at the front, back? No, we'll go back and order? torque it in order, but if okay. we just kind of bump them up and then gingerly, there you go, that's good. Just a little bump on them. Justin, it's fun fishing out there, but hey, do you got any questions for automotive guy? I'll tell you something that I've often thought about, but I've never heard a good answer to, and I bet you may have one, is when I'm towing my boat, so I have two boats that I use. One is a really lightweight skiff, so I normally just tow it in drive just as you would normally, right? But I have a big heavy center console, and when I tow it, should I use the tow haul mode? And if I should, like, I mean, I do use the tow haul mode, but what does that actually do? That's a great question. A tow haul mode basically increase line pressure. Now, what line pressure is on a transmission? Just think about, they showed you earlier all those clutches and it has to squeeze those clutches. So what happens is it squeezes the clutches and it makes them nice and tight so they don't slip. Okay. Now when you're towing, especially with your heavy boat, it kind of increases that line pressure. Computers are pretty smart now yeah. and it squeezes it. Well, that brings us to another point too. Some old transmissions you used to feel it slipping and slipping. Well, that's not the case today. So a transmission today, it may squeeze it real tight and wear the clutches out, squeeze it even tighter, wear them out more, and then eventually just go, boom, I'm not running anymore, that's it, and you're sitting there stranded. <laughs> so it gets pretty rough. Oh, well, there you go. But what do you service? Let's talk about your boat a little bit. How about some boat service? You do that as well? Oh, it's the same exact thing. I mean, 
instead of a transmission, we have, you know, lower units and that's what puts your power to the water. So that gear oil, I end up changing mine about four times a year because I got a lot of hours on the water every year. I have to make sure that I have a reliable engine and I maintain it regularly. And then that way I can trust that engine to get me back safely. Absolutely. Well, we'll get this thing torqued to specifications. We'll get it with the right pattern. We'll make sure it's good. Justin, it's been great having you. Stick around. We're gonna have to fill John. this thing up with fluid and uh, hey. we'll have a little bit more, but let's get this done. Meanwhile, you guys take a break. There's some garage ed and it's all about suspension. You don't wanna miss that. We'll be back in about two minutes. Stick around for more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.